All right, I want to talk to you about watercolor paints. So watercolor paints come in two different styles. There's the kind that comes in these are called cakes, even though it's not the kind that you eat, unfortunately. And then there's the kind that are already wet sometimes. Most of the time, in the art room anyway, you'll have these for when you choose to paint. Sometimes uh, I might have leftover watercolors that are liquid already from um, the other grades that, uh, anyway. So before you just start painting, these are supp the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need a towel. You're going to need a couple of selections of paint brushes. Big uh, stuff gets painted by big brush. Little things by little brush. You're also gonna need uh, water. Did I say towel already? I think so. All right. Before you start painting, uh, you should draw a picture. If you do not draw a picture, then your painting uh, is just going to be experimental. You won't have any real thing. I know that it just turns into like a blob of color. It doesn't turn out if you don't already have lines. This is not regular drawing paper. This is watercolor paper. It is specifically for watercolor paints. Please do not use watercolor paper to draw, uh, just to do a drawing on. This is really nice paper. Uh, that being said, if you know you're going to paint, make sure you're choosing this type of paper that'll be in the paint station. Um, there'll be little pieces too that you can experiment on, but if you want to do a full drawing. So I recommend drawing with pencil, like always, so you can make a mistake. If you do make mistakes and it's too many to erase, flip it over and try a different drawing instead of getting a new paper. Um, so you could see I drew part of a flower and I was going back and making it more interesting and uh, I'm going to add the details directly with Sharpie. I'm not going to go ahead and add that many because this demonstration is more about painting. And nothing is too small. If things are too small with watercolor, it's difficult. All right, so with watercolor though, and watercolor works really well too if you just wanna do like a sky, make sure you go ahead and get your paintbrush wet. If it's the kind in the cakes, there's the color, but you need to add the water. So it's all loaded with water and I just swirl it a little bit. Sometimes they look dirty, but they just need a bit of swirling. Sometimes they look like they're about finished, like this green one, but actually that's a lot of pigment color, so it should last a long time. And you can go right around the edges and you can have different qualities of paint. You could have it really dark or really light, depending. So right now, if I just use water, I can flush that blue out and make it really, really light. Or I can go back and I can darken things up. Sometimes it's helpful to make the painting last two days and maybe tomorrow or in the next art class, I can go back and I can add more details or add it, make it darker. Cause I like actually using just the light bits. That creates really neat value. Again, value means when you have a color and it goes darker to lighter. It does not mean how much money. I mean, it also means that, but that's not what it means in art class. All right, so I'm not gonna be finishing mine, but hopefully you get the idea. So the problem though that you need to be careful about is that watercolor is runny. So there's already a puddle forming here. And if I don't wait for that puddle to kind of sink into the paper, then it could blend into the flower. If that happens, then just make it a beautiful oops. It's part of the what happens with watercolor. So pick a color for my flower. And again, I'm not gonna finish mine. But it is, it's light. Watercolor is not meant to be super dark. And you really should take your time. You could paint this whole thing in what, just a couple minutes? But if you're gonna paint it well, nicely, then you need to really spend some time. You could already see where the blue is blending in with the orange. That might be one of those things that I need to wait to fix until tomorrow. Cause while it's wet, I can't really do anything. There's nothing I can do about it. 
So now again, I washed off my paint and I just have the uh, water on it and I'm kind of filling it in while it's still damp to blend it in. So that is some of the things that watercolor can do for you. Again, if maybe tomorrow when it's dry before I can add more details with my Sharpie, you can't use regular markers because the water would make them run. So draw with a pencil and you can just leave it at a pencil, but if you'd like to, uh, you can use a Sharpie to outline too. All right, so have fun watercoloring and I can't wait to see what you make.